What's going on, everybody? It is Jason, the Metal Dad here. And if you can't tell by my voice, I am sick as shit. It's not COVID. I went and got tested this morning, and I'm clear on that front. So that's good. Just a regular old shitty head cold. So I wanted to do a quick video since I'm at home today and I have the time. And this video is how to do a stem export in Reaper to send a song off for mixing. And I'm also going to show you uh, at the end a quick way to export a song. Like, let's say, like, you know, like for me, like I'm a guitar player. I live in West Virginia, which is kind of the middle of a shithole nowhere uh, in the U.S. And I've got a buddy who lives across the country and he does vocals. And I want us to do a song together. Uh, I'm also going to show you a quick way to bounce out like bus stems that will. Uh, save Tom on their end for setting up their sessions, et cetera, et cetera. So they don't have a million different tracks to deal with. They can just drop in three and be good to uh, record their parts for your song to send back to you uh, for to mixing or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right in here. I've got this song here. It's an older song. I wrote it in, I think, 2016. And uh, I want to, to now like do it over and have uh, my friend um, do vocals on it. So I'm going to bounce out stems here for me to move to studio one so that I can mix. And uh, so, yeah, so I can just make everything sound cool in studio one because it's a lot more user friendly for mixing and stuff for, and for my workflow than, than Reaper is. Um, but I recorded it in Reaper all those years ago. So what I've done here, I've bypassed all the plugins on each individual track, and I've got the faders set to just around a level where nothing's going to clip on the individual channels. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get... get uh, my guitar and bass stems. So this is these are reamps. Um, I have a different have a different session that I have already done where I um, exported the DIs because I'm definitely not. I dialed these guitar tones in in 2018, and I'm definitely not going to use this shit. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely redo these guitar tones, but just for the purpose of this video. I'm going to show you how to export stems. So you want to hold control and click on all your tracks, which I've got guitar one, guitar two, clean one, clean two, lead, bass clean, bass dirty, which these are all reamps I did forever ago. And I'm just going to, once I've got all of those selected, I'm going to uh, right click and hit, sorry, it's been a while since I've done this in Reaper. Render freeze tracks, and I'm going to render these tracks to mono stem tracks and mute originals. Okay, so there's that. I'm just going to save, save this. I'm going to show you where it is over here. All right, so here I've got the guitar and bass DIs, which you can see. I've also got the Reaper session saved in here and a backup. And reamps and MIDI. What I'll do here to clean this up before it gets off to uh, whoever's mixing it. In this case, it's me, but for you, it might be somewhere else. I'm going to delete the repeak files and leave just the waves and just the project files because these repeak files... It's just like the image of what's on screen here, and you don't you don't need to send that to whoever's mixing. Okay. So there's that, and now I'm going to do a MIDI export. See, those fucking repeats are going to be back in that folder now because it just rebuilt them. Export project MIDI under file. I'm going to do entire project, all, and I'm going to find the folder... See here, I've got reamps and MIDI. I'm going to hit that. Save there. Make sure embed project temp tempo and time signature changes is clicked. Um, don't You can export project markers as MIDI, but I don't have markers set, in, uh, set up in this. So I'm just going to hit OK. Show and explore to make sure it went to the right place. 
so there is my MIDI sequence that I'm going to be able to drop in and sync um, the time signature changes, tempo changes, etc., that are in the MIDI for this song, and also the drums. The MIDI, the MIDI drums are part of that, which I'm using. Uh, this is the original Get Good Drums library. I'll probably use a, I'll probably use like P4 or it may be Invasion for this. Probably P4. P4 works really good with this kind of stuff. So now I'm going to show how to export stems of the drums because you can, you should still do stem exports of the drums even if you're sending drum MIDI. That way, on the other end, whoever you're working with they're going to know that their MIDI is triggering the right hits. That way they can listen to the stems of the drums, which see I've selected all the tracks here. I've got overheads, near room, far room, kick, snare top, snare bottom, tom one, two, three, tom four, and the hi-hats down here. And first thing I'm going to do here, which this is very important that you do this. I didn't show this in the first section, but this is a very, very, very important step. What you do, if you're using Reaper, I don't know how this works in other DAWs, but Reaper, the file organization, uh, straight out of the gate is a shit show. So you've got to make sure you do a save project as. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to make a new folder and call this drum stems. And I'm going to click in here. And you want to make sure when you do this, because this is going to be the folder where the stems will export to. So drum stems. Make sure for your, for, for if you're trying to do a, a session just to export stems, make sure that copy all media into project directory is not selected. Because if that's selected, it's going to pull in every audio file that is used in the song, which you don't want for the purpose of this. You just want your stems in this folder when you're done. So I'm going to save. And again, I'm going to click over here and verify drum stems okay so there is the session file and now i've already selected all my drum tracks and if you're using sampled drums uh, it's worth noting the the outputs of drum vsts are usually stereo so when you right click render and freeze tracks you want to hit render tracks to stereo stem tracks for virtual drum instruments, whether that's Contact or, or uh, Get Good or Superior or Easy or whatever. As far as I know, most of all of them that I have used and most that I know of always kind of always run in stereo. So just render to stereo stem tracks and mute originals. And this is now rendering out my drum kit. So now I'm going to save this. No, I think I hit save as. I just need to save. All right. So now I'm going to close this. And this is also a very important step. What you do is you start with a blank session. Okay. And I'll, let's see. I'll add a virtual instrument on a new track. And I'm just going to put... Um, contact. I'm just going to put contact on here. Holy shit. This is going to be a mess. Okay, so I'm not going to import this with all the tracks, but this is just like this. What I'm doing right now is just for me to check that everything imports properly. So I'm going to go over here to reamp some MIDI, find my MIDI, and I'm just going to drop this in at measure one. Import MIDI tempo map. Okay. All right, so I see all my tempo and time signature changes have been preserved. So I'm going to go here to drum stems. I'm going to get rid of all these repeats, even though it's just going to build them right back once I drop these files into Reaper. This is just a weird thing that Reaper does. Okay, so now I'm dropping all of my drum tracks in. Yeah, separate tracks. In re dropping in really hot there. But yeah, everything's synced up. And then I'll do the same thing 
I'm gonna go to the reamps and MIDI folder and I'm gonna get rid of these repeats. Your whoever's mixing this does not need the repeats, but you want to make sure you leave the waves. Then I will drop in all of these on separate tracks just to make sure everything has dropped in correctly. I'm just going to close this. I don't even need to save it because this was just to verify that everything had bounced out correctly. Oh, no. <laughs> you see my OBS. You see the methods of my trickery. Okay. So, again, one time I'm going to go through here and I'm going to go into these and clean out all the repeaks one final time. You don't have to do this. If you're using Reaper, you don't have to keep doing this. But before, it's very important to do at this step because it'll make your engineer's life a lot easier. Okay, so there's drum stems, nice and clean. Guitar and bass DIs, nice and clean. Reamps and MIDI. I'm gonna get rid of these repeaks. And I'm gonna go back here. What I'm gonna do is just make a new folder on my desktop. old prog jam what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to copy all of these to old prog jam since I've verified that everything works and everything drops incorrectly I am going to down here right click send to compressed zipped folder and this is going to compress everything to a zipped folder just a nice one single file that some whoever on the other end can download and make sense of this process can take a little bit i will edit this shit out of here so you're not sitting here forever just watching this bullshit compress What I'll wind up doing on my end is I'll just copy these folders into my studio. I'll make a studio one session for the song and I'll copy all these into that folder. The file organization in studio one is a lot better than Reaper. It just, it does most of the organization for you. It's like we got about 45 seconds. I'm going to drink some water since I'm sick as shit. All right, so that is done. There, there it is. You would just upload this to Dropbox or Google Drive or WeTransfer, or whatever service you use. It seems, seems like seems to me like a lot of people that I work with from Europe use WeTransfer, and in America, people or in the U.S., pe most people use like Dropbox or Google Drive. But just whatever works, as long as you have some way to send a large file to someone else, you can just upload this folder, send them the link, they can download it download it and we'll be able to make sense out of it all right so one more thing i'm going to open reaper back up and what i'm going to show you now is a way to send this, um, let's say if you've got a, someone you want to have record on this so they don't have like a whole mess of tracks. This is like, cause you know, it's easy to like set up bus routing uh, in Reaper, it kind of sucks, but, but uh, 
It's it's relatively easy to do. This will load in. Okay, so since, you know, I'm the one who did this song, I have buses routed here, which I've got one bus that is nothing but drums. I've got one bus that is nothing but bass. I've got one bus that is nothing but guitar. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to save project as. I'm going to make a new folder. Bus stems for vocal tracking. And I'm going to save this. So again, I'm going to export project MIDI. I'm going to select the right folder. Bus stems for vocal tracking. Embed tempo and tom signature changes. Show an explorer to verify that it is in the right place, which it is. And now what I'm going to do is hold control and select all the buses. I'm going to make sure that stereo or that solo is off so these all are outputting audio. And then I'm going to render and freeze tracks again. Wherever that is. And track. Yeah, okay, here we go. Render freeze tracks. And buses are stereo, so you want to do render tracks to stereo stem tracks and mute originals. And this will just bounce out your guitar bus, your bass bus, and your drum bus. This is like if you're someone who's writing songs and you have someone else who's going to record vocals, or if you've got somebody who's going to record bass, or if you've got somebody who's going to do drums or whatever, it's easier for you to send the song to them if it's just three audio files, which would, you know, guitar, bass, drums. Or what, what have you, like if you're doing guitar vocals and drums and you're sending it to somebody to do bass, just do the stems for whatever you've got for the song. Okay, so I'm going to close this project. Nope. Here are my bus stems. Delete the dreaded repeaks, which I'll have to do this a couple more times. And drag this in here, which is the MIDI for the Tom tempo and Tom signature. And then the bus stems. Get rid of these repeats again. And now I'm going to... I'm just going to drag this folder out to the desktop. Bust in for vocal tracking. Send to compressed zipped folder. And once that's done, that is how you do it to send to someone for tracking additional things. And that's all I've got for you today. You all take care. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you soon.